Hi, and welcome to another course in MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Interactive Grid with Input. The Interactive Grid widget enables you to display data on mobile devices in a compact, tabular format. The user can tap to toggle which objects display on the grid. In this course, you will learn how to configure the Interactive Grid widget with a transaction to enable the user to write back to the data warehouse or other destination. I'll explain the high-level steps. An interactive grid with input serves two functions, displaying data and enabling the user to modify that data. So you will need both a data set and a transaction report. I'll briefly demonstrate how to configure the data set and how to create the transaction report. You will then learn how to map the attributes and metrics in the interactive grid to the objects in the transaction. Here's the report I'll use as a data set. Notice that I've created a derived metric calculated based on the other metrics in the report. This is a neat thing to include in an interactive grid with input because the metric will calculate dynamically in response to user input. Make sure to disable report caching for the report if caching is not already disabled at the project level. To do this, on the data menu, select report caching options and select disabled. Disabling report caching will ensure that users see the latest data after each transaction. Now that we're finished with the query report, I'll show you how to define the transaction. Create a new report and in the Freeform Sources tab, select Create Transaction Report, choose your source, and click OK. Right-click the statement area and select Insert Transaction. Between the beginning and end of the transaction definition, add a query for writing back to the database. I left blank spaces in the query for where the user entered data will go. Right-click each empty space, point to define new input, then select attribute form or metric. Finally, create a dummy output object because every report needs to have at least one output attribute. I'll name this Output. Click OK and save the transaction report. Switch over to MicroStrategy Web in design mode in order to build the document for your mobile app. The Dataset Objects pane includes the report I will use for displaying data. Drag the dataset to the canvas Right-click and select Properties and Formatting. In the Widget area, select the widget to display on the mobile devices as an interactive grid. To configure the transaction, right-click the Interactive Grid widget and select Configure Transaction. I'll select the transaction report, then map the rows and columns of the interactive grid to the inputs for the transaction. I want the user to be able to edit the annual rate and discount rate fields, and I'll set the control style to text field so the user can type in metric values. Nothing is sent to the data warehouse or other destination until the user submits the transaction. Add a selector so that users can execute the transaction and update the values in the data warehouse. I'm going to require confirmation and display a success message. This last step is optional. I'm going to add another action selector that enables the user to discard changes to the interactive grid.
I'll quickly save the document and then test using Express Mode in MicroStrategy Web. Here is the result on the iPad. You can see that a Platinum membership costs $2,000. At a 90% discount rate, renewing a Platinum membership costs $200. I'll change the annual rate to $1,800 and set the discount rate to 80%. You can see that the renewal cost already changes to reflect the new values for the other metrics. However, the new data isn't sent to the data warehouse until I tap Submit and then Continue. The interactive grid then shows the most recent data. You have learned how to enable transactions for the interactive grid widget. For more information about transactions, please see the Introduction to Transactions course and the Using the Freeform SQL Editor for Mobile Transactions course. And that's a wrap for this MicroStrategy App Developer Academy course on the Interactive Grid widget with input. Mm -hmm.